I just wanna know, baby, if I hit your phone Is you picking up, baby, tell me what you want Never get no fuss, baby, I was all alone What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host of the most time, boy, Tillman, called your Tomboy TV. Welcome back to the channel, and today... We're talking about sneakers, and now one of not my most hated brands, but not one of my most liked brands, definitely not. Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 in the triple black color. We got non reflective, we got reflective, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming down, and it's gonna be a very exciting release because, well, reflectives, if you missed out, it's done. Your chances are honestly over. Today, this morning, Discord, the Discord knew about it. The Discord knew that something was happening today because VIP emails. Not VIP, but friends and family emails went out yesterday at around noon. Uh, that's what happens to friends and family. They could either they could get one reflective, one non-reflective, and one grade school or whatever the hell. So they get three person total. That's friends and family though. That's if you're like highly connected up on the up on the tree with Kanye. Kanye the spiritual man and his branches of people. If you're connected up there, then you would have secured it. But if not, they dropped at 6 a.m. Eastern. Now, we knew about it. I was knocked the hell out. There was no way in hell I was going to be able to wake up for that. I stayed up till 12 because it was supposed to be 12, 3, or 6. 12 a.m., 3 a.m., or 6 a.m. Uh, ended up not being 12 or 3, and I was like, I'm out of here, bro. It's whatever. So then I ended up dropping at 6, and I just... I literally, I woke up at 7. I woke up an hour too late. I saw a few success in the Discord, but they were very, very limited. Very small shock drop release. Not crazy amount of people knew about it. Just a few amount. And the Discord did have some knowledge about it. Even the free one. Free one knew slightly about it. But the premium one, because that's, of course, where premium comes. Because we want to make sure the premium members get it first. Because they're paying per monthly. So we want to make sure that they actually get the item. And then the rest of the people follow. Uh, so that's why they do know about it first and they do get most of the info out there. But before I start, I do want to talk about my free giveaway in partnership with Harlem Reseller and Kick It With DD Baby. Look at this pair of Sean Weatherspoons. We got one lace, we got a few other laces. We got another lace right here. You can then ask to go ahead and sell these. I'd rather see you guys rock them to be honest. They fit you. If not, I'd rather like to see a size swap. Uh, but these are the Nike Sean Weatherspoons. We got the tips on them, the patches. We got the full shebang dead stock. You can't even see they were they were never ever worn. Never on the inside. Never worn. Beautiful coming down. More air. Oh, uh, you guys can see size 10. I've been talking about it for the past few weeks. This giveaway ends this weekend. So make sure you get your damn entries in. Uh, because uh you could get you clearly win almost a thousand dollars. This is almost like a thousand dollars in my hand right here. So make sure you enter. The way to enter is you follow me uh, at Thomas Verco, follow at Harlem Misal, and follow at Kick It With Didi. And then you, if you want an extra entry, all you gotta do is send me a screenshot of you subscribe to my channel at hype underscore and J. Put giveaway in the message so I know you want the giveaway, and I will get as long as I like it. You're entered. Boom, shebang. You are done and complete. But enough of that. Uh, Discord though, if you want to join, send me the free one. All you gotta do is send me a screenshot of you subscribe again to my page but that's enough of that i do want to talk about these and first of all i do like to say that i don't want to be on, on cocky shit but your boy did luckily secure a pair already so um i'm pretty hyped on that if you guys don't know adidas doesn't only really have the adidas app reservations for in-store only though uh but what it ended up happening is i did not know that this place is an hour and a half away from me so it's big it, i thought it was gonna be jersey because i'm from new jersey i thought it was gonna be in jersey city ends up being in some whack-ass area and it's Still first come first serve. Technically, it's reserved, but I still get like a shit pair. So I need to get a men's size. But what I'm gonna do? Line up in New York. I'm gonna have to come back to Jersey and secure it. But uh, we have it from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So actually, that shouldn't be too bad. Actually, that shouldn't be too bad. I know New York is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. pickup time. Uh, so the way they do this now, they used to do like your size, right? Well, the way you actually do reserve a pair though is you get the Adidas app. They do like 10 seconds before they open it up you got to click on the right image it's like a captcha this time it was like who is not wearing a soccer jersey i know some naked ass dude topless dude you had to click on it and then you secured it if you were fast enough i know some people had major issues with the app luckily nike never works out for me but for once in my life adidas does but these shoes are coming i, I love these shoes i absolutely ah. just a colorway the colorways it's it's nothing crazy at the end of the day but it reminds me of like the og v ones and I, that just like that's like bring momento to me that's like that's like when the first yeezy adidas hype like started with the all triple black ones and yo the turtle doves the moon rocks the oxford tans the i remember all those shits man i remember when kids would go to school and everyone like yo what the hell would you get on blah 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 and everyone unfortunately have to pay resale because these they were limited the v ones were very limited especially now they're going for like a thousand dollars 
themselves. Uh, we're going to get to resale prices on these in a little bit, but these are retailing for $220 from Adidas. They could be a little different uh, from select retailers, uh, but the way they're doing it is not reflective pairs. Is just It's like the statics, right? The statics are very similar. There's reflective and non-reflective. Reflective ones are clearly going for like $1,000, if not a little bit more or less. Supposedly, we're going to get to stock numbers real quick. So for the reflective ones, there's only supposedly 10,000 pairs just around there. Friends and family, everything included. I think it was honestly a little bit less. I think it was around 7 to 8,000. I did not see a lot of success from any major groups or anybody. In I mean, we saw some success in our Discord, but that's because luckily people were awake at the time and really, really were down to get them. But retail notes was, I think, $250. If you go on Easy Supply right now, or at least at 7 in the morning when I went on, it says, yeah, you see, sold out. This is the image that I got. Unfortunately, there is no success. There is no success on these. Uh, they're looking mad nice, mad nice. But of course, people are willing to pay the dumb high for like a little thing like this, which is also why I got the Drake Raptor Force coming in. Review, review is coming on those as well. But I got this because people like, like buyers just, consumers just like to buy little dumb shit with like little extra stuff on it. Like Reflective, they're paying $500 more just because of Reflective. The people are paying not much more for the Raptors, but once the Raptors win, this shit's going straight up. Uh, but reselling these will stay around seven to $800 in my opinion, and they will keep on going up from there. If you got a Reflective pair, hold that item. You must hold the item. Not reflective pair is currently $220 retail. I expect it to stay around $400 just around there. Baby si base sizes uh, will go for the high. Uh, so 12 and a half is the money size. Of course, the massive sizes are as well. Now, how to get them? So for the US, there's US shipping between Adidas, Kicks USA, Shoe Palace, Jimmy Jazz, JD Sports, Finish Line, Foot Locker, Foot Action, East Bay, Champs, Finish Line App, Jimmy Jazz, I think I said, no, nah, Jimmy, I didn't, oh, Jimmy Jazz in-store raffle, oh, shit, I didn't do that, damn, I didn't do the in-store raffles, and then Nordstrom is in-store, Nordstrom is a good loop right there, worldwide shipping, we got Asphalt Gold, A-like, JD Sports, Soulbox, Soulbox is in-store only, uh, Asphalt Gold is at 2 a.m. Eastern, Soulbox is in-store only, Cali Roots is an online raffle, and Clothing is online raffle, and in-store raffle, uh, Negra Mercado is online raffle and Offspring is raffle and in-store pickup. That's money for the UK heads though. They're the only ones that are really able to purchase that. Uh, but this pair, this pair is going to be the hype is going to stay around for this pair. Like this is just an all-black pair. You cannot go wrong with this. Even people who don't really like Yeezys or sneakers in general still want this pair. Uh, that's all the retailers right now. So your best bet right now is to get Foot Locker res reservations. Well, that's be the app. The app closes at 6 p.m. Hopefully I get this video out there before. If you guys actually want, I know there's only one other retailer that has. As a ref reflective pair which is sneakers and stuff and that's in-store pickup and i want to say a few pairs for online only um that's also another good loop right there but it ends in three hours and it's currently seven and eight in the morning so it probably ends by the time this video is out uh shoe house will have the busy carts full locker is a good option to go online i copped a few easies like that foot action also but bots are going to eat the shit out of this online is a very tough bet try to go in store if you can oh uh, there is not a lot of first come go enter the raffles raffles is the most important take your time out of the day i know a lot of raffles end today because these these shoes are dropping on friday the 7th i was excited for them to drop on saturday but they are not indeed and the sizes that we actually do have is we only got men's and what is it grade school grade school yeah so you can pretty much do any size i don't want full locker this is what i have right now i have head start this is my best option right here for pickup in store uh, so I do have one Adidas. I'm going to do a lineup one and then hopefully somehow miraculously I secure one over here. I know stock is pretty heavy though. Stock is nothing crazy small. It is pretty heavy, but the demand is higher than any other Yeezy in the past. I would have to say few months, man. No, besides statics. Statics, not even that much because statics are all white. Everyone loves on all triple black shoe. Like you can't go wrong. You can't get it dirty. You can't get it messy. The statics you can destroy in mad quick. These are kind of harder to destroy. And we haven't had seen a triple black shoe like this with Kanye since the V1s and or like oof man I am hyped on ever since I saw these leaks I'm like super stoked on them and so easy supply oh Adidas is your best bet what am I saying Adidas is your best bet they will be dropping hold on let's check Adidas app right now uh because they are coming sometimes they do a little different type shit you know they put you in the queue and then it just ends up being a big, big mess. And so Adidas will be dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern. Easy Supply will most likely be dropping at around in the morning. They did have a, a time, but I feel like they're just going to do some crazy wax shit with it. But, you know, you never know. And also, I'm really just about to enter the Easy uh, drawing for Kith as well. So make sure you get your entries in for that. I'm going Soho, baby. We're going to go ahead and submit this right here. I'm literally submitting this right now. Submitting. Good luck, baby. That's all I need. But anyways, Adidas is your best bet. They're going to put you in the queue. And guys, in order to do Easy Supply, there is a way to get around the queue because the queue is 
the worst thing that ever happens on easy supply so the way to do it i do it in my live cops all you gotta do is add a cart previously before the drop like a pair of socks for example do it all the way uh, pretend you're checking out fully until the last page where you put in your car details now bookmark that page uh then wait for the drop add the shoes to cart go into queue get into the bookmark that page open up that bookmark uh and then you're going to open up the bookmark put in your details and the socks and the shoes should be there now sometimes it doesn't work for me it hasn't been working lately for some people it does so try doing that and if it doesn't work you're gonna have to wait in queue and pray for the best and make sure you're mad quick because last time i got through queue for the clays i put everything in and that's it sold out as soon as i finished my car details which was a very tragic moment uh we actually do we actually didn't know when easy is loaded on back end as well so you know, Discord's where it's all at. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, best bet Adidas, easy supply where to cop, then enter all these raffles. Jimmy Jazz, full locker, foot of foot. Jimmy Jazz is insta raffle, though, so make sure you call up your local ones. Other than that, though, it's gonna be pretty limited. Oh, Risa, I didn't talk about Risa. What am I saying? So, currently, I don't know how because you know that's all I'd be talking about on this channel mainly. Uh, so the easy boost reflectives. Hold up, I do want to open up. We're gonna open up cock eggs right now because that's what I'm gonna go buy for these. Uh, we're gonna go buy the reflective right here. So, reflective ones, I'm gonna open this shit up. Wow, they actually stayed steady. So they are at a thousand highest bid is for eleven. That's actually my size. Eleven and a half is eight hundred seventy dollars. Lowest ask is a size fourteen, eight hundred ninety nine dollars. So asks are pretty much all at a thousand. Uh, eleven and a half is at nine fifty. Eight is at ten is at nine eighty nine. If you could just cop, just cop whatever size you can. That's all that matters. Whatever size you can. Reflectives are always gonna be money size. They will stay a money size and they will continue to go up because they dropped last night I'm this morning and there still has been no fluctuations within the price It's still going for crazy bread and that's where it's gonna stay at But now what everyone's gonna have a better chance of copping is their regular non-reflective pairs now really they dropped like $20 since last night I know for my 11 and a half I know for my 11 and a half they were at like 500 they went down to 470 all their sizes though are doing pretty decent i mean 11 half is probably doing not that bad 12 and a half is a money size because a lot of retailers don't even get them and then the biggest 15 16 it has like a big 13 and a half is also going for 1500 lowest ask that's if they sell uh, but currently high speed is 505 for a 16 and lowest ask is 421 for a size 10 so they will go down to 350 320 on drop day but i think i don't think they're going to break 300 they better not at least because i know some people are going to mess up the whole damn market i do expect to see some crazy cooks i hope you guys do as well uh, because i do want you guys to secure that bag secure the item secure the money uh, but honestly hold these hold these pieces i'm saying hold I'm, that's what i'm gonna do or i'm gonna sell one now because i do have a good buyer out there shout out to harlem for that and then i'm gonna sell one now and hold one if i get two hopefully i do get two but we're going to see what goes down so thank you guys so much for watching good luck hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys learned something thank you guys for watching peace